Hot Toys Fun Club. I read all of your comments and thank you for your comments. And some of you told me that I look like me, I speak like me, but that's actually possible. She's my sister. And do you know, Himmy also has a channel and it's called Himmy Plays. Don't forget to watch that too. And let's get started with our next and that source. This dancer looks like a bad, but do you know, it's not a bad asaurus. It's a timer for Dawn. You might be thinking it's a bad source, but it's a dimer for Dawn. I'm going to tell you how to pronounce it. Dime or fo Dawn. Dimer for Dawn. And this dancer was a tiny dancer. And it lived in the Jurassic period. And the diet was meat. And do you know, dimer for Dawn means two formed teeth. It had big teeth and small teeth. Those teeth were for chewing and grabbing. And do you know, this is this was a flying dinosaur. And do you know, it was a tiny pterosaur and it was a first pterosaur. Let's go to the next dinosaur. This dinosaur is a Diplodocus. I'm going to tell you how to pronounce it. Diplodocus. Diplodocus. And it was a gigantic dinosaur. And it lived in the Jurassic period. And the diet was plants. Do you know why? Because it's a sauropod. And do you know something really interesting? It was about the size of two school buses. Like, like I have 59 and 63 school buses. And when we connect them together, we'll form a diplodocus. And do you know it was the longest land animal that have ever lived? And the tail was the size of half of its body. And do you know, and it was about the size of one school bus. Oh my goodness, that's really long. That's really long. Let's go to the next answer. This answer is an Edmontosaurus. I'm going to tell you how to pronounce it. Edmontosaurus. Edmontosaurus. And this was a large dinosaur. And the di and it lived in the Cretaceous period. And the diet was plant. And do you know something interesting? The dinosaur had diamond shaped teeth. Not conical not conical teeth or square teeth. It was diamond shaped teeth. And this di and di this dinosaur traveled in herds. It could it could walk for a thousand miles. Oh my goodness, that's so that's so long. Let's go to the next answer. This is a this is a sea monster. I just kidding. This this answer is a Elasmosaurus. I'm gonna tell you how to pronounce it. L as mo. Elasmosaurus, and this dinosaur was a large dinosaur, and the dot and it lived in the Cretaceous period, and the diet was meat. Do you know scientists thought the long neck was a tail, so they just grew a tail. But soon they found out it was a it was a neck instead of a tail. And do you know this dancer swim slowly because of its heavy weight? And do you know this dancer had a such a large neck? Oh my goodness, that's so long. Let's go to the next dancer. This dancer is an eoraptor. I'm going to tell you how to pronounce it. E O R A P T O R. Eoraptor. And this dancer was. A huge dancer, and it lived in the Triassic period, and the diet was meat. And this one had sharp claws, sharp teeth, and there was fast runners, and there were good predators. Predators, and in this picture, you can see that the, the raptor is looking for its mommy. <laughs> Just kidding. Let's go to the next dinosaur. This answer is a euplocephalus. I'm going to tell you how to pronounce it. U, plo, cef, o, us. Euplocephalus. 
and this dinosaur was a big dinosaur and it lived in the Cretaceous period and the diet was plants. And do you remember one more dinosaur that was in the first session? That's right, Ankylosaurus. And this dinosaur looks similar to an Ankylosaurus. It had almost all over his body. And do you know something really interesting? It had a it had a, a terrible tail that it could bash to predators like. Let's go to the next dinosaur. This dinosaur is a Europosaurus. I'm going to tell you how to pronounce it. U ro pa sor us. Europosaurus. And this dinosaur was a gigantic dinosaur. And it lived in the Jurassic period. And the diet was plants because it's a sauropod. And do you know something really interesting? Do you know that Jupiter has a moon called Europa? And it's the and if the Europosaurus fossil was found in the moon Europa of Jupiter? No! It was found in Germany in Europe. So that's how it got its name, Europosaurus. Let's go to the next dinosaur. This dinosaur is a Fukuisaurus. I'm going to tell you how to pronounce it. Fu, ku, e, Sor us, Fukuisaurus, and this dinosaur was a small dinosaur, and it lived in the Cretaceous period, and and the diet was plants. And do you know something really interesting? Scientists only found the head of the Fukuisaurus, and the rest are drawn based on the Iguanodon, the similar dinosaurs. Let's go to the next dinosaur. Answer is a Gallimimus. I'm going to tell you how to pronounce it. Gal, e, my, mus. Gallimimus. And this dinosaur was a big dinosaur, and it lived in the Cretaceous period. And the diet, and the diet was meat and plants, which means it was an omnivorous. And do you remember the other dancer in the first session? Correct. That's an Archaeonitomimus and the, the dinosaur looked like an ostrich and you know something really interesting it can go so fast about 30 miles per hour oh my gosh that's so fast let's go to the next dinosaur this dinosaur is a giganotosaurus I'm going to tell you how to pronounce it Jig and O to Sor Us. Giganotosaurus. Do you know this is a giant dinosaur? So that's how it got its name, Giganotosaurus. And it lived in the Cretaceous period. And it died was meat. And do you know it was almost the size of this T Rex? And, and do you know it had deadly claws? And a big head and sharp teeth, and was a powerful dinosaur. Let's do a recap. Today we learned about Dimorphodon, Diplodocus, Edmundosaurus, Elasmosaurus, Eoraptor, Euplocephalus, Europosaurus, Fukuisaurus. Gallimimus and Giganotosaurus. Which is your favorite dancer in these 10 dancers? My favorite dancer is a Gallimimus because they're fast runners and I named the Gallimimus Galax. I hope you like my dinosaur videos and keep watching my videos. And if you like my videos, please do share, like, and subscribe. And see you tomorrow with the next set of 10 dinosaurs. Bye-bye!